Hello, here we are. So I wanted to update you guys on a few things. So let's talk about food here in Barbados. Food has been quite interesting. I definitely have noticed that a lot of places as we get the influx of tourists are catering to tourists. And so I've been on the quest to find the best food. So thus far, I would say these are my top picks. All right, you guys ready? I don't know what the number is going to be, but you'll figure that out here. It'll be right here. These are my top restaurants thus far, only a month in. So today I went to brunch at Pavao. I hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's at Sweetville Hotel, Sweetville Inn, something like that. What I really liked about that place on a Saturday for brunch, the DJ was really, really good. When you walk into the space, it's like this beautiful boho s vibe. It's perfect if you want to do like a girl's day or a birthday brunch, like this is the spot. So you can see elements of that in the decor when you walk through the restaurant. It's really, really cute and there's a lot of, best part, Instagram moments. Yeah. As you see my pictures here. Now for the food, I only tried one dish. I tried the chicken and waffles, which were pretty good. And for me, what makes for good chicken and waffles is well-seasoned chicken, because a lot of people don't be seasoning their chicken, y'all. And some decent waffles, and so they were good. I would love to try some of the other stuff there, but it was definitely good. If you're looking for experience, to me, it's a good combo of experience and food. Good music, good crowd, Instagram ops. All right, shout outs to Jessica. She's the one who put me onto that. All right, make sure y'all follow her channel. This is her picture, bloop, bloop, yeah follow her okay so the next spot what did i like firebird so i went to firebird that's in worthing square i keep calling it worthington square funny part so worthing square is like this area where it's like a whole bunch of food stands and restaurants it's kind of cool because a lot of people come out there to you know socialize or meet up with their friends and everything so the scenery is pretty dope but Firebird is this Indian restaurant, but it's not the Indian food that we're used to in the US, or at least I am used to, like traditional. It's like these sandwiches or like wraps kind of, meets like tamarind wings. Personally, I had tried the tamarind wings and the other thing that I tried, I'll pop on the screen because I can't remember the name, and that was tasty. Very good. So I would say try that spot. If waffles and chicken and all things of that nature is your thing, I went to Bliss Cafe and I really like that place. That I had, uh, oof, I had the caramel banana waffles. Delicious. Now I will say those are some of the best waffles I've had. Waffles themselves. You are not supposed to add chicken, but you can try asking them if you'd like to. If you're feeling daring for the day, you can try asking them. But I like them a lot. Just make sure you get a lot of caramel because you need that caramel for that taste. Now, when I've gone with friends, they've tried like the wraps and they said the wraps, the jerk chicken wraps, etc., were really good. But I like the vibe of that place because once again, it just makes you feel like you're on vacation. And there's Instagram ops. People are like getting so smart here, you know? Those Instagram ops. They're smart because they encourage you to do things like this, take pictures and post them. All right, what's my next place? That's the top three. Uh, oh, so I went to Cafe Soul. People have been telling me about Cafe Soul for a while. And I'm sorry, y'all, I do not have a Bayesian place to tell you just yet. We're on, we're on the quest still, okay? But thus far, these are some good spots to start and I will be back with more. So Cafe Soul sells West Indian, West Indian, Mexican food. It's a vibe as well, good crowd. It's in St. Lawrence Gap, so as soon as you're done, you can always go down the street and check out whatever else is going on, which is dope and awesome. It's like a strip. Well, let's just consider it the strip of Barbados, right? So as far as Cafe Soul is concerned, Mark was our waiter. He was dope, dancing with us and everything. The music was great. The drinks are strong, y'all. They are very strong. I would definitely recommend, I mean, I think the best days to go to any of these places are, you know, like your Thursdays through Sunday, right? Obviously Saturday and Sunday are probably gonna be the best days. So we went on a Thursday and they had happy hour, I think at five o'clock, two for one. The drinks are strong. I'm just letting y'all know heads up. <laughs> So great news is I guess it's a great place to start off your night, but I got the fajitas. The fajitas came highly recommended. They're sizzling. The presentation was on point and it was just as tasty. If I had to choose one between the steak, the chicken and the shrimp, I think I would go ahead and tell you guys to go and just get the Fiesta one, which gives you all three so that you can try them and decide for yourself. I don't know which one I think is the best. I think I would just get the Fiesta again so I can have everything. So those are my top places thus far. All right, now some things, some places that people have been telling me about that I'm going to look out for. There's a restaurant, a Jamaican restaurant. I'm gonna pop the name down here because I can't remember it. I heard that Champers is pretty good. I need to try that place. We were trying to go there, but it was all booked up. So make sure you get your reservations. Reservations is a thing here. So if you can, I would highly recommend booking your reservations in advance just to be safe. This whole house I heard is good. I heard it was a vibe. A 
but that's what's on my list to go check out right now. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. If there's any folks out there that are in Barbados and they found, or they're heading to Barbados and they found this very helpful, let me know. So I know to keep doing this type of content and click the like button, drop a comment. Cause why not? By the way, if you like this video, make sure you check out my other Barbados video. Plenty more where that came from.